Okay, cool. So in this video, I'm going to show you a brand new Amazon KDP niche in the measurement workbook market. Okay. And this is a really cool niche because not a lot of people know about it. And second, a lot of people don't know how to create these types of books. And the cool thing is in this video, if you stay until the end, I'm going to show you how to create these types of profitable Amazon KDP books without any design skills, tech skills, or uh, writing whatsoever. Okay. So first thing you want to do is go to Amazon KDP. As you can see here, I have measurement workbook. Okay. Measure measurement workbook. And if you go and search for this uh, niche, this market, you'll find there are a ton of different books. As you can see, a lot of them have a lot of reviews and you know, they're selling quite well. You can see that they have BSRs um, in the tens of thousands here. And there are, there's a lot of people buying these types of books for their children. Okay. So these are parents. This is an amazing buyer's market, right? Cause parents, I'm a parent myself. I buy a ton of books for my kids. Uh, I buy children's books. I buy a lot of coloring books for them. And this is another market that parents often buy in. Okay. And parents are made every day. There's parents always, um, getting online because their kids are growing and buying books in all types of educational markets. Okay. So measurement workbooks is one of these markets. Okay. Now, how do you create these types of books? Okay. To create these types of measurement workbooks, it's really easy to do. I recommend this tool, uh, measurement workbook generator. Okay. It's a really, really cool piece of software that lets anyone without tech skills, design skills to create KDP books. You can sell on Amazon. Uh, without any types of skills whatsoever. Really important. Now, the first thing you want to do here is make sure you have the good, a good trim size. Okay. That's the, you know, the size of the actual workbook itself. I always recommend my students, if they're creating a worksheets book or a coloring book or a workbook to use 8.5 by 11, and you want to number the page. And that's, you know, this is a default uh, size for this is 8.5 by 11. If you want to number it, you just go right here to the bottom where my mouse is. And you, you have to decide no numbering page one, page one to hundred, or just a number. I just like using the number and click update. It's going to add the number right there. Okay. Once you're done with that, you want to go to this top measurement icon here. Uh, sorry, puzzle icon. And you're going to have some options here. You're going to have bigger versus small, tall versus short, heavy versus light, long versus short, more versus less and so forth. There's all kinds of options here. We want to keep it uh, for the kids market. This is between, I believe two to five. Okay. When I expand the view more, uh, um, button here and you have all these different options, I'm going to select this one right here and I'll add it right here. It says order by size. Now our end user, the kid of the parent who bought this has to order it by size. So they basically they have to decide one to three, which is the smallest, which is the biggest, right? Okay. Very simple. Now, the cool thing about this is, if I clone this page, if I go to this little clone page button here, click the clone page and, and I click again within the square and I uh, hit this regenerate data icon, it's going to create a whole set of problems for my end user, which is really cool. So basically I can create a nice little workbook of 40 pages. I highly recommend if you create a workbook or worksheet, it should be between 35 to 40 pages. Okay. You want to click the clone page again, click, within the, the square and just click this regenerate data and it's going to create a whole new slew of different, um, orders of, uh, animals where our end user has to, you know, they have to figure out which is the smallest, which is the middle, which is the biggest, right? And just continue doing that. Okay. As you can see, it's also numbering. It's also numbering the, 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 the different, let, let me, let me expand this. It's also numbering the different pages. We have one, two, three, four, right? That's it, which is really cool. So I really, uh, I really like this piece of software. Once you're done, you can of course create a solutions page. Let me back up a little bit to 10. And if you want to create a solutions page, you simply first download your PDF as is without the solutions. And then once you're done downloading it, you can go back, click on the square on the left here, go towards the bottom, 
click show solutions, click update, and do that for every page, okay? Every page you have here, click show solutions, click update, and you can have a solutions page in, a, in no time at all. Once you're done, you're gonna wanna click away, click out, click this download, sorry, not that one, click this download button right here to download your PDFs. So you can have two PDFs, a solutions PDF and a, a problems PDF. Once you have those two PDFs, you can go to merge PDF files or any other merger PDF site for free and put those PDFs together and voila, you have your book, okay? Now, um, if you decide to get work, uh, sorry, measurement workbooks uh, generator, then I highly recommend you get it via me. You go down here and you can get not only the measurements generator workbook, but you can get my bonuses where I'm gonna give you a masterclass, never before seen video, how to position yourself on Amazon in the measurement workbook masterclass, okay? You also get done for you niche keywords. I also review your book if you complete your book via this tool. Also, I'm gonna give you done for you measurement workbook title page, copyright page for your book, step-by-step -step checklists, sorry, step-by-step -step checklist to publish your book in the measurement workbook market, and done for you covers. This is, this is the most important thing. Covers are everything. Book covers and Amazon KDP are everything. That's, that's your foot in the door. That's how people see you on Amazon KDP. Click on your uh, listing and ultimately buy. Okay, really important stuff. So if you want to earn in this really cool market, a really cool niche, and you wanna do it without any design skills or tech skills, then I highly recommend you get measurement workbook generator check out the link below and you can get this page and get it through my uh, site and i'll be happy to help you with this okay be good take care and have a wonderful day don't forget to like and subscribe